Trav, it's going to be part 52, I think, on the mongrel build. Been a little while since I've done an update on it. Uh, I've been busy clearing out the workshop, moving everything over to the new one, and then just life and all the rest of it. But our uh, plan for today is to take the mongrel over to the new workshop, and that's the last thing out of this unit um, to go. So this is going to be the last time you'll see the cow shed. Last time you'll see the board. I'm going to do something similar in the new place or I might just do like a digital kind of thing where all you guys just uh, come up on the screen at the start of the video. Something like that. But yeah, it's going to be the last day in the cow shed so I'm pretty uh, happy about that to be honest. Pretty much everything cleared out. That's just a load of old rubbish I've got to get rid of over there. And then over here, bow, bow, bow. She's a roller, just about. I don't have the uh, all the right bolts for the back, so the, so all the rear suspension's kind of barely just hanging together at the moment. The plan is roll it over to the new workshop and then um, get the rear arch fitted. After bolting the wheels and tyres on, I've realised that the arch is nowhere near wide enough to uh, cover the wheel, so I've got another set of rear arches, basically just going to widen the original one a bit to get it to cover, but um, yeah, she's going to have her first voyage on the truck, but looks pretty cool. I'm liking the look of this thing. It's got me pretty motivated seeing it um, on the truck, rolling. The mongrel has arrived. Stu's keeping an eye on things. So I've got a two poster ramp going in at this end, uh, probably be better over this way a bit with the roof height, but it'd be nice to have it more in line with the door, which is kind of like where the escort is, so I uh, have to make a decision on that, that should be turning up soon. Got all the plasma set up in the corner. to be about 50 mil wider. I bought another set and I'm going to just cut, them, cut a line down the centre, pull it out to where it needs to be, cut a section out of that and fix it in to make a wide enough arch. So I had a right nightmare with all these bits. I had a pair of hubs, this is completely seized in. Tried to press it out in a press and ended up snapping the lug off the uh, brake caliper lug. So I had, I had two sets. Yeah, out of all of those, I've only got one usable hub. And also these bottom arms, 
I've got two passenger side lower rear arms. So on the other side, I've got the other one of these upside down with everything just loosely bolted on. And um, I'm missing two of the adjuster bolts as well because they snapped off, so I need to buy those. Uh, so everything's just sort of cobbled together at the moment. So I basically need a passenger hub, and this is an early one off like a Mark 1, and a driver's rear lower arm. And there's loads of these on eBay, but they're all the ones that I don't need. They're all drivers, they're all passenger side rear lowers and um, driver's side hubs, or they're a complete assembly with the shaft still in it, which will probably be end up looking like that. So I just cut the back of the shaft off of there so that I could actually just bolt this all together. How terrible does that look? I'm just checking the uh, position of it. Is it all right? Let's get rid of that quick. Quickly! I'm gonna use some little um, rib nuts for these back ones. I don't have any of the uh, like flush fitting ones left. So I'm just gonna tech screw them in for now. And then the, the holes will be uh, where I need them to be.
So I'm just going to do like a sort of patchwork, I guess, of this until we end up with the right shape. Welder seems to be playing out. I think it might be me earth. I'm going to have to send that thing back. Ta-da! I know what you're thinking. This guy is a fiberglass wizard. They'll rub down, a bit of paint, jobs are good. I've kind of just smashed this together, not really, you know, knowing how the next step would go. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get a look at what the car is going to look like with these widened out and um, yeah I like it, it's cool. So I don't know whether to just um, spend the money and get some steel arches um, and then widen them. don't know what the best option is. But we might have to roll her outside and get a proper look. I've got an idea to help with the visuals. Maybe this is the key. Just fill her up with masking tape. Or uh, expanding foam and newspaper. That's an old classic. So yeah, this you got to look at it. This is kind of dropped down a bit. This bottom edge needs to come up about an inch, so this should all be up a little bit. But um, what I thought of just then is what I could have done is just had some little steel strips and kind of bent them into shape and like riveted them in place and then just taped it from behind and then laid fiberglass over the top. But yeah, if you're a bodywork guy or girl or transgender person, then um, yeah, if, there's a, if, if you're looking at this thinking, why didn't you just do that? Then uh, make sure you tell me what that is. But, looks cool anyway. It's nice to get it in the new workshop and do a bit of work on it. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've done anything on it. Just been mega busy. But now I'm, uh, I'm in and sorted, so I should, uh, video should get a bit more regular again. So, yeah. That's gonna be it for this one. Just watching. See you on the next one.